on this video, um, I want to show you how to log on to your parent portal account on the on the browser and check your student progress. Um, I have three elementary students enrolled at BICE, so I'm going to show you how it looks uh, when I log in as a parent. Um, so if you don't know the URL to log in, you can always go to our school website, um, click on uh, resources and links and it'll get you to this page and you can click on that um, the first one up there and that will take you to the parent portal account uh, there's an app available as well um, on both on uh, on the App Store and on the Google Play Store um, you can download and install the app um, and in order to sign in you would need a district code which is right there it's NJRW and it's the same username and password that you uh, would use to log into this one. So let's go ahead and log in. Okay, as soon as you log in on this page, you would see your first student on the left. Um, I think it's arranged alphabetical. So my first one is A is Araya, H, and then I am Mishael. Um, and on this home page, you would, if you have an um, elementary student, then you would not see their grade information on this page. But you would see their absences and tardies right here. Um, so that's right there. And then for you to check the grades, you would click on this tab up here called Standards Grades. And then this is where you would access his grades. Um, so you could click expand all to see all of his class grades um, to expand all of them or you can collapse uh, expand them one by one um, so let's say I want to see how is Ezariah is doing in his Bible class so you click on that to expand and then you see his grades right here um, so the, we use um, an OG and new standard based grading scale um, so O is outstanding G is good N means needs improvement and U is um, forgot what's you well that's a bad grade anyway um, so so he's doing G and a an O and a G and he's doing pretty okay and if I want to see what um, added up to that G I can click on that um, actually no I was wrong okay. I'm gonna cut that piece out so that's his grades um, and now I can uh, expand all of that to see how is he doing across all? So we are in quarter one, and that's all we see. Um, so yeah, so that's how you check his grades. Uh, and if you ever want to know um, what assignments that he has, um, I think you could see that by clicking on the I. So for example, Bible, what assignments he has, if you want to know, you can click on that, and then he'll, you will see the list of assignments. Yeah. And you will not see a score here because these are standard based assignments. Um, so if you want to see the standards, then you can click on, um, we should check the submitted one. So lesson three test, let's see what he got. Um, so the Bible standard number four was assessed using this summative assessment and he got a grade of G. So this is how you check. If you want to dig deep and see what assignments constituted towards his standard grade that we saw over here, then you can see it over here on, on the first tab. So let's click on that to go back to his, yeah, to back to his home. So you can click on his name to go back to the screen. So, so that's how you check on his um, grades. Grades, you go to standards grades, and um, you can expand each of them to see how he's doing. Or if you want to know more details on the assignments that he has had, then you could click on the I on that quarter. So on quarter one for music, if you want to know, you click on the I, and then the assignment loads up, and then you would see it. Um, so yeah, so that's how you check the grades for your children. Hope this is helpful.